In the last video, we talked about myopia, which is a fancy term for short-sightedness. But what about long-sightedness? Well, we're about to find out. Let's get learning. Hey yo, Antonio. I myself am a hypermetrope, which is a fancy term for long-sighted. And so I can usually relate better to long-sighted patients. Long-sighted eyes do better in their distance vision or long vision than their near vision or short sight. Hence the name long-sightedness. It's not an easily understood topic because most long-sighted people remain asymptomatic, so anything you explain to them will sound like gibberish. It's only in their later years that they realize exactly what their eyes are doing and they fully understand what long-sightedness is. So, before you get to that stage, let's learn about what it actually is. Similar to myopia, there is a mismatch between the optics of the eye and the axial length of the eye. But, unlike myopia, hyperopia goes the other way and focuses light behind your retina. Now, at this stage, you would imagine the same amount of blurriness to occur because the blur circle is the same size. However, our eyes have the ability to accommodate, meaning that we can pull the focal point closer, ultimately leading to a clear image. That's what I mean when I say hyperopic eyes remain asymptomatic. It's like our eyes have this autofocus capability that kicks in whenever necessary without us even knowing it. Consider this graph. The x-axis tells us the distance in meters we are away from an object. A perfect eye is focused at 6 meters, and a short-sighted eye is focused at closer than 6 meters. If you were long-sighted and had a prescription of a plus one, that would mean that you would need to put in one diopter of work for the distance vision to be clear. This is a plus one hyperopic eye when it's completely relaxed looking into the distance, and this is a plus one hyperopic eye after one diopter of accommodation. If you pay close attention to this graph, you can see that one diopter of work will not always equal one meter change in focus. Remember, diopters and working distances are inversely proportional, which means that for a hyperopic eye, sustaining accommodation becomes exponentially difficult the closer the object gets. Let's consider an example where you have the prescription of a plus one. You have to put in one diopter of work for you to see things clearly at six meters, whereas a perfect eye does not have to put in any work at all. If we wanted to see things clearly at one meter away, then the perfect eye gets to use one diopter of work, while the plus one hyperopic eye uses two diopters of work. Long-sighted eyes have trouble reading things for long hours. If you've seen my video on how to read your glasses prescription, then you'll know that long-sighted prescriptions always start with a plus sign. And rightly so, it comes with many pluses. Long-sighted eyes are great because you can see long distances and see it clearly, whereas our short-sighted counterparts would require glasses for this. Also, as children, long-sighted eyes excel in both the distance and near activities without glasses because the younger you are, the more abundant your accommodation is, meaning that you can cover more working distances. The downfall comes when trying to read things up close for an extended period of time or when our ability to accommodate diminishes during presbyopia. Long-sighted eyes benefit more from having reading glasses because that's the area they lack most in. Glasses change the focal length of your vision so that you can achieve the same clarity up close without exerting too much accommodation. So if you are long-sighted, why not try a pair of glasses and see if it makes a difference? It did for me. The most common ways of correcting hyperopia include glasses, contact lenses, and even lens replacement surgery. We only scratched the surface on this topic, but there are so many more things to talk about, but that's going to have to wait for another time. But I still hope you learned something new, or at least found something useful. If you did, then yay, thumbs up to you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.